It's my first day in Mali, just looking out my hotel room. Now, I don't know if you can make out that little boy sitting in the field, but he should be in school. But he's not, he's out here working. And what looks like could, could be a field, but it could also be a junkyard. There's people all over the place just walking around, riding on these dirt roads. I see half-built buildings that people are living in. I see all kinds of sad things, but nobody here is sad. Everybody seems happy, and that's one thing that I envy them for, is that no matter how hard their life is, as you see that lady right there also working in the field, no matter how hard their life is, they always seem to make do with what they have. I really wish we can give them more. One thing that I noticed in Bamako is that there is a lot of half-constructed buildings, but that doesn't stop people from actually living inside them. It's a sad, sad view. I was looking out my hotel room and I just noticed this young lady transporting water. That looks like it's really heavy, but she seems alright. She's lucky she's not walking around barefoot. I've seen a couple people doing that. There's a guy over there washing bikes. There's a guy over here fixing bikes. There's a lady over there working in the fields. I mean, if you can call that a field, it looks more like a junkyard if you ask me. There's some lady transferring some fruits on the top of her head also. Now, if there's one thing in common, is that all these people are in need. But another thing that they have in common is they're all very dignified and they will not reach their hand out for help. They feel like they're blessed. I know that when I came here and noticed what they're going through, I feel blessed. I'm going to go visit Islamic Relief's office in Mali today. I'm excited to see what exactly we're doing to help these people.